Melons are a little harder to save seeds from than squash because the flowers are so small it makes them hard to hand pollinate. Different kinds of melons will all cross with each other. They won't cross with watermelon. Watermelon is a different species. And different types of watermelon will only cross with other kinds of watermelon and with citron. This is cantaloupe. And I'm going to show you how to find a male and a female flower to hand pollinate. I'm growing three different varieties here and I want to save pure seeds from them so I need to hand pollinate a few. <clears throat> okay so this is a male flower. It has a short stem though so it's a little hard to tell on this one. There you go. That one has the short stem and then it's the flower. Let's find a female in here. There's another male. That guy has a little longer stem. Male. That's a male. And there's a female. if you can see that. It has a small fruit at the base. It already has a small fruit there even when the flower just first opens. So to save seeds from these we need a male and a female flower. If you have multiple plants it's better to take a male flower from one plant and a female flower from a different plant. And these that I'm showing you are all open. So the bees are already visiting them this morning and they're potentially crossed with other varieties. So to save seeds, I'm gonna look for flowers that haven't opened yet. There is a male flower. That'll probably open tomorrow. It just has a little bit of yellow on it. So I'm gonna take a small piece of my masking tape here and I'll put it around this flower to tape it shut so that the bees can't get in it when it opens in the morning. And then I'm going to find a female flower. Here's one. There you go. And I'll do the same thing with a female flower. And I'll tape this top part shut so that the flower can't open tomorrow morning. And the next morning, I'm going to come out here and hand pollinate them. Here's one that I already did. And there's another one that I taped shut last night. Let's see if I can get to it here. The leaves out of the way so you can see it on the camera. There we go. Okay, so this is a female flower that I taped shut last night so the bees wouldn't get at it. And the male flower that I taped shut last night, I just went ahead and picked the whole thing. And I'm going to take the petals off of that male flower that was taped shut. And then I'll take this tape off of this I'll try to leave part of the flower on there. I'm just going to pinch off the part that had the tape. Mom, I ate all the bees. You did? And then I'm going to dust the pollen from the male flower around inside there. This is a little hard to do with melons. Just because they're so small, it's hard to work with them with your hands. So I usually do this with a few of them to have a good shot of one or two taking. Squash are easier because they're a lot bigger and it's much easier to make sure that you get that pollen down in the center of the flower. Okay, so I have my male flower. <clears throat> right there. <clears throat> it was taped shut last night so the bees didn't contaminate it. I just took the petals off of it. I left the stem on so I have a handle and the pollen should be in the center of it right there. So I'm going to push this 
into this female flower. And dust that pollen around on the inside of the female flower to hand pollinate it. You can actually leave that sitting in there and then I'm going to grab some tape and I'll tape this shut as tightly as I can so that the bees still don't get in there and mess up what I just did. <clears throat> so once this fruit starts growing, if my hand pollination took, then I'll tie a string or something around the base of that fruit so that I remember that one was hand pollinated and I'll let it grow as normal. And then when I go to eat it, I'll take those seeds out, scrape them out like I normally would, but then I will rinse them and quickly spread them out on something to dry. And those will be my melon seeds for next year.